Hello, this is Zah from Open Source Channel and welcome for another episode on how to install open source application on your server. Thank you to every single subscriber and you can follow me on Blogger or Twitter. Now let's start by going to thingoffice.com. This is the actual application I'm going to show you how to install it on your server. One of our viewers emailed me saying, how can I install this open source version on my server? Anyway, let's start. Now, if you go to www.fangoffice.com and you scroll down at the end, on the left side, you can see here the open source. If you click on this, you will find the free version, the actual community version. I'm going to click the download button here. And I'm going to save the file on my server. Now I'm going to double click on the file. And I'm going to create a temporary folder. And I'm going to extract the file that I just downloaded in this into this folder. Meanwhile, I'm going to open my FileZilla client and I'm going to log in into my server where I'm going to uh, upload the files. For this demonstration, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to use uh, my domain agcloud.tk. Here we go, that's the content, and I'm going to drag and drop, and I'm going to start to upload it. Alright, so I'm closing this, open up again. This one, in. now, if this is the actual domain I'm going to use. I already got PHP my admin open to create a database, and I'm going to wait until all the files are being uploaded. I'm going to pause the video for now, and I'm going to resume it once the upload is finished. So all the files have been uploaded. Now I'm going to refresh my page here. And here we go, we got the first step of the installation. I usually go through and read all the information. Once read it, I'm going to click next. Make sure that everything's needed. All the environments are okay. If they don't be read, uh, you need to make sure logically they comply. For example, if this uh, folder was not writable, it will be in red. 
and what you do is just go to for example FileZilla uh, let me see here let's say config I would right click and click on file permission and I'll make sure that it will be writable now I'll press next and here we go this is the actual setup of the uh, database as usual we're going to use MySQL host name is going to be localhost the username is going to be root now for my database as you can see here I'm not using no password at all of course you're going to use your own password that has been set for your provider for your hosting provider now for me it's going to be blank so I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to create a database here I'm going to call it um, Fang now I'm going back to PHP my admin and I'm going to click on databases and I'm going to create a new database called Fang and I'm going to click create once the database has been created I'm going back to the installation page make sure everything's fine here this is the actual domain code mentioned there workspace mail and I'm going to click next and there we go everything is done properly now make sure you read everything through sometimes not in this case it's going to ask you to delete if exists an installation um, folder sometimes some application automatically delete the installation folder for you but in this case looks everything's fine now I'm going to click finish And here we go the first step you need to create the administration login information plus all the rest now because logically I'm going to show you this is again this is just a demo I'm going to create a fictitious information or logically you're going to put your own personal information and make sure the proper information as a username I'm going to create the word administration or of course you just write admin if you want to I'm going to put an email here and I'm going to put a password and a repeat password and of course the name of the company and I'm going to click submit I'm going to remember password here and I'm going to log in now admin and my password you can click here to remember your logins for 14 days if you want to or just leave it as this and I'm going to press login already done this now company name is the actual name that I put it down of course you're going to put your own company name and here we go we are inside the Feng office and as you can see it's nice and tidy slowly you know CMS um, client management system you can go on the actual admin and click on the administration where you can find more details uh, you can have and email accounts you can use templates users billing systems create cron events the tools dimensions everything you need to run this beautiful client management system I need to say many thanks to uh, the company that I'm 
as well not sponsored but as hooked me up with a copy of uh, Camtasia Studio Touch Smith and I would like to thank them for the opportunity to have this beautiful uh, piece of equipment I mean Camtasia Studios if it wasn't for this software I won't be able to make this uh, tutorials and I would like to again say thanks to them and uh, hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you join me again next time. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.